in the depths of an abandoned house, overgrown with grass and overgrown with cobwebs, ancient secrets are hidden which have long been forgotten. The house was known as the House of the Cursed Creator, a place that was legendary among the locals. The story of him gave people goosebumps and his name was only whispered in the night. A young explorer named Jonathan was obsessed with unraveling the secrets of this house. He read many historical documents, looked through old photographs, and listened to the stories of old timers. All this information fueled his curiosity and thirst for discovery. One day, Jonathan decided to take a chance and go on a journey to this gloomy house. The old wooden doors creaked open before him, letting him into a timeless world. Each step penetrated his soul with anxiety, but his determination did not weaken. Jonathan entered the first room, which seemed like a place frozen in time. Dusty shelves were littered with scattered books and art, and yellowed paintings hung on the walls depicting gloomy scenes and blank-eyed faces. In the middle of the room stood an old desk covered in a layer of dust. Jonathan began to explore the room, carefully examining every object. He found the diary left on the table. Dust covered its cover and the pages looked brittle and old. He opened the diary and began to read. The diary entries belonged to a former occupant of the house, one Edmund Hartford, an experimental artist who sought inspiration in dark worlds. He immersed himself in his creative processes through dark rituals and occult practices, wanting to make his paintings more realistic and alive. Gradually, Jonathan learned more and more about Edmund's life. It turned out that Hartford was a victim of his own audacity and took upon himself the curse associated with his art. With each new experiment his paintings came to life, but their content became more and more terrible and monstrous. According to Edmund's notes, he often saw dark figures emerging from his canvases and heard whispers and laughter filling his studio during the night hours. His soul suffered from this curse, and he was afraid that it would drag him into eternal darkness. Jonathan couldn't stop reading the dairy. He felt his imagination come to life, each page adding a new brick to the construction of this gloomy story. He knew that he was also becoming part of this curse, but his curiosity did not let him stop. Jonathan decided to continue his journey around the house. He stepped over the threshold of the next room and felt the atmosphere grow even more frightening. The air was filled with a sinister energy that seemed to seep through the skin. A studio opened in front of him where Hartford created his paintings. The studio was filled with canvases hanging everywhere. Each of them radiated its own unique atmosphere, some were filled with suffering and despair, others with madness and chows. Jonathan felt a powerful force pull him magnetically towards one of the paintings, which depicted a dark figure wearing a black mask. Jonathan approached the canvas, his heart beating faster with indescribable fear and excitement. He stared at the image of the mask and felt it return his gaze. Fire burned in the eyes of the mask, as if a demonic presence had come to life in this canvas. The wind picked up sharply, the candles on the walls began to flicker, as if dancing to an ominous tune. An unwanted whisper began to come from the canvas, getting louder and more insistent. It was a voice that pierced the soul and made the skin goosebumps. Jonathan, are you a true explorer? Do you want to discover all the secrets of this house? Then accept me the mask of the curse, and I will show you the true art of horror. Jonathan was overcome with ambivalent feelings. On the one hand, his curiosity and thirst for discovery pushed him to accept the offer of the mask. On the other hand, his mind and instincts suggested that this could lead to irreparable consequences. Thoughts swirled in his head and he tried to make a decision. But gradually, under the influence of the promises of the mask, his doubts began to dissipate. He was about to reach out to the canvas to grab the mask and take its power. Meanwhile, strange phenomena began to occur in the house. The walls creaked, shadows moved across the rooms, and the atmosphere was saturated with dark energy. It was clear that the curse was coming to life and ready to seize a new owner. But before Jonathan could touch the mask, a woman's figure emerged from the shadows. She was disheveled, her eyes exuded immense sadness and despair. Don't do it, Jonathan, she whispered in a weak voice. 
The Mask of Damnation brings destruction and suffering. It killed Edmund, and it will kill you too. Jonathan stopped, looked at the woman, and felt his resolve begin to falter. He realized that the mask promised him power and knowledge, but at what price? Will he be willing to pay such a high price at the risk of losing himself and plunging into darkness? Jonathan stepped back, moving away from the canvas and the mask. He looked at the woman and said, thank you I understand. I don't want to plunge into this darkness and lose myself. The curse must remain here in this house. The woman smiled a faint smile of gratitude and disappeared into the shadows. Jonathan realized that he had made the right choice in refusing the lure of the mast. He decided that his goal now was to reveal the history and secrets of this house in order to warn others of its dangers. Jonathan stayed in the house for several days studying every room, every painting, and every record in order to get a complete picture of the history of the cursed creator's house. He took many photographs recorded his observations and even met with the locals to hear their stories. After careful research, Jonathan returned to the city, where he began writing a book about his journey and discoveries. He wanted to share his knowledge, warn others of the dangers of the cursed maker's house, and show how art can turn into a curse. Jonathan's book has received widespread acclaim. His story about the cursed house, the mask of the curse, and the dark secrets has attracted the attention of people from all over the world. Many were warned against trying to explore this house and some even realized the danger that art can carry in the wrong hands. Jonathan continued to write books and explore other mysterious places. But his experience with the home of the cursed creator always lingered in his memory a reminder that art and mystery can be beautiful and dangerous at the same time. Since writing the book about the house of the cursed creator, Jonathan has attracted the attention of various organizations and collectors of artifacts with unusual stories. His reputation as an explorer of dark and mysterious places has become world famous. Once Jonathan received an offer to join a secret organization that was engaged in the study of paranormal phenomena and the preservation of the secrets associated with them. This organization was known as the Order of Forgotten Secrets. Fascinated by new opportunities, Jonathan accepted the offer and became a member of the order. Together with a group of researchers, he went to the most dangerous and abandoned corners of the world, revealing the secrets that led him to dizzying discoveries and terrible dangers. During one of the expeditions of the Order of Forgotten Secrets, Jonathan and his team went in search of a lost city, which was legendary. The city was supposed to be full of secrets and treasures, and Jonathan hoped to solve its mysteries. The journey was filled with dangers and trials. The team encountered tribes of ancient inhabitants, lock traps and mysteries that required skill and resourcefulness to solve. After many hardships and losses, the team finally reached the lost city. They found themselves in front of a huge gate covered with symbols and runic signs. Inside the city, not only treasures awaited them, but also ancient forces awakened from a long sleep. All was hushed as Jonathan and his team entered the lost city. It seemed that time stopped in this place where architecture artfully merged with nature. The stained glass windows shone with light filtering through the ages and the shadows and figures in the stone seemed alive. As the team continued to explore the city, Jonathan noticed a gaze peering back at him from the temple wall. It was the figure of an ancient deity, whose eyes seemed penetrating and penetrating into the very consciousness. He stepped closer and felt how his mind began to fill with wisdom and knowledge that permeated his every cell. The deity gave him a message about an ancient prophecy related to the future of mankind. The prophecy said that humanity is on the verge of destruction, and only those who have true knowledge and good will can save it from destruction. Jonathan realized that his mission was not only to reveal the secrets of the past, but also to save the future. With enthusiasm and devotion, Jonathan accepted his new destiny. He used his knowledge and resources to spread information about the prophecy and call people to creation, to explore and overcome the dark forces that threaten humanity. Jonathan became the main speaker and organizer of events, attracting people from all over the world. 
He organized conferences, seminars and exhibitions where people shared their knowledge, ideas and research. They cooperated and united to make the world a better place and protect it from evil. Jonathan understood that the dark forces do not sleep and will always look for ways to thwart plans for salvation. But he didn't give up. He knew that the power of knowledge and good was stronger than any curse or darkness. Over the years, Jonathan has become a legend among explorers and champions of truth. He was an inspiration to many, and his name has become a symbol of courage, perseverance and faith in a better future. One day, when Jonathan was in his sixties, he woke up with a sense of inevitability. His time on earth has come to an end, but his legacy remains. Many people inspired by his example continued to explore, fight and uncover mysteries in order to save the world. In the last days of his life, Jonathan spent time with family and close friends. He told them about his adventures and achievements, about the beautiful places he saw, and about how everyone can contribute to saving the world. In the last moments of his life, Jonathan smiled and whispered, let the secrets of art and adventure be an inspiration to a new generation. Let them not be afraid to go forward, seek answers and believe in the power of good. The world needs their light. Jonathan's death left a void in the hearts of many, but his legacy lived on. Inspired by his story and example, people continued to explore, tell stories, and fight for light in the dark. The order of the forgotten mysteries that he once joined became even stronger after his departure. Explorers and fighters for the truth continued their mission, protecting the world from dark forces and revealing secrets to make the world a safer and better place. Everyone who heard the story of Jonathan found hope and faith that even in a world where there are secrets and dangers, there is a place for truth and goodness. They realized that it was important to strive for knowledge, discovery and protection of the vulnerable. The story of Jonathan and his adventures has become a legend passed down from generation to generation. His name has become a symbol of courage, research and faith in human potential. He left a legacy that continues to inspire people across time and space. In each of us lives a little Jonathan a thirst for knowledge, courage, and faith in goodness. As time goes by, new explorers are raising the flag of truth to overcome the darkness and uncover mysteries. After all stories and adventures await those who are not afraid to dive into the unknown and overcome fear. And in the most remote corners of the world stories continue that make us tremble with fear and delight at the same time. In the depths of dark forests, in the tangled alleys of forgotten cities, in impenetrable deserts, secrets lie waiting to be explored. One day, in a distant village shrouded in gloomy legends, a group of daredevils gathered, eager for new adventures. They heard about a strange castle, which according to legend was inhabited by spirits and curses. No explorer dared to enter his territory, but this group decided to change fate. Their night journey to the castle was full of fear and anticipation. The moon lit their path, casting dark shadows, and the wind whispered ominous stories. As they approached the castle gates, their hearts began to beat faster and their breathing became heavy and labored. Despite all the warnings, they decided to go inside. The castle, as if coming to life, began to reveal its secrets before the eyes of researchers. Otherworldly sounds, rustles and ghostly silhouettes made their skin crawl. In the dark corridors of the castle, they faced riddles and puzzles that required logic and composure. Curses and spirits pursued them, trying to scare them away and force them to retreat. But the research team did not give up. They were so passionate about the search and the thirst to uncover secrets that they did not leave a chance for fear to win. Hours turned into days and days into weeks. Inside the castle, time seemed to slow down and reality and fantasy merged into one. More and more members of the group began to feel that the castle had its own essence, something alive and old that influenced their thoughts and actions. But even in the most terrible moments, when it seemed that the castle forever sealed them within its walls, they did not lose hope. The researchers discovered that the castle contains not only secrets and dangers, but also the treasures of forgotten eras. 
Eventually, the group found a way out of the castle and returned to daylight. They were exhausted and overwhelmed with impressions, but their victory over fear and the unknown gave them a sense of invincibility. Stories like these that even in the most macabre and dark places there is room for courage and discovery have made the world more interesting and more mysterious. Explorers continue their journey around the world, and each new story adds a new stone to the mosaic of secrets and adventures. So if you are ready to dive into the world of mysteries and dangers, get ready for adventures that will keep you awake at night. And remember that fear is only an obstacle on the way to the truth, and courage and determination open the doors to the unknown. A new story that filled the pages of horrors and nightmares began in a quiet town in the middle of a remote province. People lived in peace and tranquility, but soon strange and terrible events began to occur in the city. Residents spoke of visions of ghosts, sounds of moaning from the darkness of the night and mysterious disappearances. Local newspapers picked up the stories and spread rumors about the curse that was hanging over the city. The inhabitants were in a panic, their nights turned into nightmares and peace and security disappeared. However, among the darkness there are always those who are ready to fight evil. A group of daredevils inspired by the stories of the curse decided to find out the truth and save their city from its treacherous embrace. They gathered at the local library studying old records and manuscripts to unravel the mystery of the curse. Their research led them to an abandoned homestead that served as the place where the curse began. There they found an old diary which described certain rituals and gloomy events. They decided to recreate the ritual described in the diary in the hope that it would help overcome the curse. At the head of the group was Miranda, a brave and determined woman who refused to give in to fear. That very evening, under the light of a full moon, they gathered at the abandoned manor. A gloomy atmosphere reigned around, and the wind whispered its piercing melodies. The group began the ritual by repeating the words from the diary and making mysterious gestures. Suddenly, in the stillness of the night, there was a loud cry. Something sinister and gloomy came out of the darkness and penetrated into their consciousness. It was a spirit of damnation that sought vengeance and bloodlust. The explorers were terrified, but they did not give up. Boldly looking into the eyes of evil, they resisted its influence and tried to remove the curse. The battle with the cursed spirit was the battle of their lives. They used their wits agility and will to deal with an invisible enemy. The stories of what they saw and experienced that night remained forever imprinted in their memory. Finally, after endless hours of fighting, the curse began to recede. The spirit receded and darkness and fear left the city. The inhabitants, freed from the curse, were grateful to the explorers for their courage and determination. The city came to life and people could sleep peacefully again. A group of researchers, although they defeated evil, could not forget what they experienced. They became heroes in the eyes of the townspeople, but inside each of them there was a trace of fear, a reminder of the night they lived. They realized that the study of mysterious and scary stories is not just a hobby, but also a responsibility to the world. They decided to continue their adventures uncovering secrets and fighting evil so that no one else would feel fear, curse and hopelessness. Their story has become a legend told in the evenings around the campfire. Their names are imprinted in the history of the city, their courage and determination live in the hearts of those who managed to escape from evil thanks to them. Such was the story that did not allow to sleep peacefully at night, but left a mark in the hearts and memories of those who survived it. Although the explorers were able to defeat the curse and save the city from evil, their adventure was only just beginning. They decided to continue their research and travel the world in search of other mystical and creepy stories. The first stop was an ancient castle in the mountains about which there were legends of ghosts and curses. Explorers penetrated its gloomy halls and dungeons where the walls seemed to have a soul and resurrect past horrors. There among the shadows and mystical twilight, they encountered the ghosts of the past inhabitants of the castle. Their ghostly forms hovered in the air, emitting ominous sounds and filling the air with the smell of rot and death. However, instead of running from fear, the researchers decided to unravel the mystery of the castle and help the ghosts free themselves from their painful existence. 
they carved their way through a web of riddles and puzzles, picking up fragments of the past to understand what had led to the curse. Gradually, thanks to their perseverance and courage, they revealed the history of the castle. It turned out that in the past the castle was a place of cruel events, where atrocities and irreparable mistakes were committed. As the story unfolded, the curse began to lose its power. The ghosts found peace and the explorers felt that their mission had been accomplished. They realized that their determination and compassion for the ghost played a decisive role in the release of the castle. Now these vanished souls could rest in peace, and the castle shone with a new light full of hope and historical value. With each new adventure, the researchers learned more mysticism and mysteries of this world. They became the custodians of a story that was engraved in the dark corners of time. Their stories have become legends passed down from generation to generation. People listened to their stories with bated breath, and felt inside themselves a spark of curiosity and a thirst for adventure. So their nights continued full of danger, secrets and fear. They could not sleep because their hearts were filled with a thirst for research and the search for truth. And so each new story, each new adventure, brought them nights filled with endless possibilities and anticipation of the next step into the unknown.